Well guys, welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. I'm going to be doing a bit of river fishing, a little stream fishing here, where you call a small river, chalk stream, urban, man alive. It doesn't get really any more urban than this. Nice little park area, but look at the quality of the water. It's gin clear, it's low. Down there I've actually seen a grayling. I'll be fishing with a float rod. Actually it's an Avon, standard Avon rod. I shouldn't think there's too much big in here that I'm not going to land on that. Mostly small fish, bit of fun. Um, but very, very low conditions. Still moving through okay. I've got uh, red and white maggots and I've got some small uh, four mil pellets which are going to be scattered in. I've actually got some brib which I might use downstream if I get farther downstream. Not the world's greatest day at the moment. As you can see there, it's, uh, well, grey, overcast, breezy, drizzling. And that's right, I haven't got a coat or anything. So. It's so clear, I don't actually need my polarizing glasses, the regular ones I do. I've seen a couple of grayling here. I'll see if I can wiggle one out for you. Um, fingers crossed it's going to be on the maggots. Size 12 hook, 2 BB float, that's all I'm using. And my umbrella for the day is down there, but I'm currently underneath this tree. I'm hoping this will just pack up this rain. Right, let's get a bait out there. Right, I'm going to have to tell you. I've actually seen just down there. Now this is what I've talked about fishing before. It's just got to be marginally deeper than the rest of the river to hold fish. So I'm just scattering stuff here. Man alive, there's a lot of small grayling down there. I've seen a decent grayling down here. Just drops off. It's slightly, very slightly darker. So I'm just doing a few maggots. And I think I'll go for white maggots. There's two other anglers just walked past me, so this stretch obviously gets hammered beyond belief. People fishing further upstream. Man, there's fish darting all over the place. Now I don't know whether there's dace in here or indeed what, but I'm after primarily a grayling. Gonna shallow this right up. There's virtually no depth there at all. I might even have to go to a different method, which is sort of free lining, taking the float off, putting a BB shot on. Just annoying. The one day I come, being a Saturday, there's loads of other people fishing. Hey ho, it's the way of the world. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh no. <laughs> what are we going to do here? Let's hope that's going to push back in. I've glued it about four times. I might just get away with this. This could be a totally awesome bit of fishing. Oh, Jesus, I'm up the tree. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Holding it back, holding it back, holding it back. I feel, oh, straight on it, buddy. Oh, he's turned off. Shouldn't be so cocky. Shouldn't be so cocky. They're fish for running the float down, running the float down, running the float down. I think I've missed the kill zone. Oh, nothing, that's not very nice, is it? Okay, so maybe I might have to just put a pinch in there. Trick them up by running it straight through. Oh, there's a nice little grayling down there. Running it straight through behind those loose feed. Hmm, I feel a small hook and single maggot coming. Oh, big fish over there, holy smoly. He's got to be worth a few maggots, oh no. That, I just seen that one, I don't need polarized for that one. That was a good fish down over there. That didn't look like a grayling, it looked like a trout. Well, well, well. Oh, way downstream. OMG. Oh my God, there's loads down there. Why are they not taking? Oh no, oh no, 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 what can I do? Let's try with some pellets. Oh, I'm gonna get through all my bait in about five minutes here. Oh, now I'm all a quiver now. There's a good fish over there, guys. There's two or three good fish over there. I've got a feeling they don't like the float. And they've probably been hammered before. Oh no, come on, right between them. Oh, it's a decent trout or chub or something going through there. Oh, 
they're spooky. Guide fishing up there in the bushes, this place must get absolutely caned. But what I'm going to do is, I have heard here before, people say they feed the ducks and birds and that on bread, and the fish are really into bread, which is understandable, that's what they used to see and come down the river. So maybe I should go, got a loaf in the car, and do what the locals say and try bread. But generally maggots are better for grayling. It's actually a brown trout, I think, or a grayling. Just laying off station there, and he'd been shooting around. They definitely look at the maggots and turning away. Definitely, here he comes. No man alive, is that a tricky fish? That is a tricky fish. I'm wondering if I should take that float off. I'm going to try him with a big bunch of maggots. Look at those guys wriggle. Look at him maggots, boy. Let's give him a little pinch. Just tease him up a bit. And then follow up when they got their confidence with a bunch of mags and a shocking cast ground, that was a shock. I'm now getting wet. Should have bought the jacket, but no. Wifey told me it's not gonna rain. That's a big bunch of maggots, they can't possibly miss that. And they have. All right, fish on guys, fish on. I don't know what it is, it's a decent size. I've seen a couple of flashes down there. Check it out with the net, which is not extended and will be needing to be extended. That should do me. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. That was going down to a single maggot. Oh man, big grayling. That is a beautiful grayling. That is exactly what I came for. Lovely big fish. They are renowned for bumping off. So fingers crossed, let's get down there. Look at that grayling. Oh, oh, that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. You're fishing all winter for grayling. Well, not all winter, obviously, but that is in the net, up the tree. Let's check this one out. Oh, yeah, nice fish. Let's have a look at him. Let me just show him to you there. He's going nuts. He's going nuts. He's going by me. Look at the fin on that one, guys. Beautiful fin there. Lovely big grayling. That's a fish worth coming for. Ho oh, ho, result. Urban fishing at its best. I'm going to put him back with the net. There he goes. He's gone. Oh, that was the old. Now, I've got to pop back to the car. Broken the duck. Con's only over there. Still got the wheels on it, luckily. And I'm going to see if I can get my forceps and I might even go get a slightly smaller hook let's get just over that back side there I've got to feel over the back there just before that willow tree there could be one or two fish big fish bolted downstream holy cow that was a big trout that was a big fish there's another big one moved down here looks like a grayling the more you look the more you see unfortunately they can see us as well Man, it's not a very nice day today. At least I've got the broken the duck, got that out of the way. I don't know if I'm going to go to a smaller float, to be honest, guys. Well, guys, here is a swim. It's absolutely a freaking aquarium. I think I've seen a pike down there, about four or five pounds. I've thrown quite a bit of bait in, and they absolutely fly around there. There's one monster grayling that has to be the other side of two pounds easily several pounders a lot of small fish but they only come out when you throw a lot of bait in they're ignoring everything with the float i might i can remember i might have to go free lining with a single maggot i think that's the only way you used to do that on the avon years ago when the chub got really twitchy but man alive that's the biggest probably that might be the biggest grain i think i've ever seen there's certainly fish well over a pound pound and a half in there right let's get organized drizzle's coming on so i'm going to get wet and I've got the polarizing glasses on so I can see them now. I think guys I'm gonna I'm gonna give them a bit of bait. They seem they like the maggots, they also like those. They're coming up on the top, man alive. There they're shooting around there. If I can just get my my maggot in the middle of 
Oh, look at that grating. Oh, God. Let's get that camera on. I've got two maggots on there. I've got to feed this a one maggot deal, but let's try it. I've got the old handshakes again. Oh, that's terrible. Terrible, terrible. Can't put the maggots on properly. Out we go. Six maggots. Bloody hell, they're on them already, guys. I think it's free lining. I don't think they like the float. Oh, they are a missed bite, missed a bite, missed a bite. Gonna have to dot this one really, really quickly. They've eaten all the maggots. That leaves mine going through single, and they just do not want to know it. I've got a feeling you've got to put your your bait right in the middle of a cloud of maggots. Okay. These are too big a fish to to leave. I have to say. Right, I'm in the middle. Man, they're flashing around there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. They've eaten everyone, eaten everyone by mine. Might have to go to a 16, two pounds. They are cute fish. Oh, structure nearly got tangled. I'll try one single like that. I see the maggot go through the water. No, they do not want to know. Let's go deeper. Oh, swirls. I've never seen a grayling swirl. Oh, God, how did I miss that one? How did I miss that one? Let's try them again. They've probably eaten all the maggots by now. Come on, fish. Got a little bit deeper. Might give them a bit more confidence. Just one big grayling would do it. No, they don't want to know the single. It's got to be fooling them in amongst a total bunch of maggots. I think I'm going to go smaller hook. I have actually brought some 14s with me. That's right in the middle of them. Man alive, they eat them straight away. They've definitely been fished for. Look at the size of that grading through there, pound and a half, easy. Look, 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 big fish. Gonna give it five or ten minutes and this float's coming off, guys. Figure that might be the only way to get a take. Got a small one on, guys. Darted in before the big one. Anyway. It's not the one I wanted, it might spook the swim, but he's in the net. Grayling number two, and a nice looking fish it is too. And you're just about to take the float off, but I've been throwing more and more bait in, and that's obviously got them going, but it's also got the uh, smaller ones going as well. He's off the hook, there he is. Lovely looking little fish there, I think you'll agree, guys. There you go, houses in the background, look there. Ooh. Urban grayling fishing. Just gonna try across the back there. Flick it out on the weed, draw it back so it sinks just this side, and then the maggots going down before the float, that's the theory, in case they've dropped down the back from the feed. Most of them are just down here. Occasionally you get a bigger fish laying at the back there. Looks very, very chubby up there. I think I'm gonna have to go back to the car and get Small hooks, small hook links. Of course, finally got a bit bigger one, not the one I'm after, but Ben in the Rod tells his own story. It's a nice fish, took the float off. One, it's number eight shot, and I think if I went back to the car and got, ah, oh, it's a nice grading. Went back to the car and got lighter gear, I think I'd do even better. So I'm free lining underneath my feet at the moment. This is, I think, the biggest one. So far, I cannot grumble because it's tough conditions. Oh, he's going everywhere. Has he hooked in the back, I think? Yeah, that's a bigger, that's a bit bigger grade in that one. That's a nice one. Just nicked in the back. Well, it really wasn't his lucky day, was it? Is he just tangled? No, he's just nicked in the back. That's bizarre. And that's a tough skin. 
up there. Just show them to you. Great big sail in the current. And they generally leap all over the place. That's a pretty nice grayling. Happy with that one. But of course guys, there are bigger ones down there. This is urban grayling fishing. They've all got that black dot under their chin as well. And a hinge there, so you bump a lot off actually when you do strike. You do tend to miss a lot. They've got an underslung mouth. Oh, not a back one. That's better. Got another one on here, guys. They're absolutely swarming, but I'm having a lot of trouble hooking them. This one was ledgering on the bottom. And you might have noticed I've changed over to red maggots this time. I wonder if the white was spooking them. Hooks out. Oh, good size. God, they're frisky, aren't they? Good size, I don't know. Got to be up around the pound, haven't they? Well, I've had a couple more grading, and I've got a minnow there. Knocked it on the head, because just down in the margins here, I've seen a small pike, and I'm going to try and see if I can catch him on what we call drop minnow, just a shot on there, a couple of BB, twitch it across the bottom, see if we can't get lucky with something different, because these big grayling are driving me nuts. Got some nice fish to just a tad, tad over a pound, but there's one or two in there look like two and a half, three pounders. Let's see if we can get Mr. Toothy Critter out for you. Right guys, I've rigged up here. Got my regular line, but I always take some of these traces, which are sander traces here, and they finish up in um, a small single hook there and I've got a, day, a little uh, minnow there, not a dace, so that's wire. Let's see if I can flick this out. The pike is still laying down there. I need to wash the bait off first. You're not going to see him because I've got Polaroids on. He's right down there. I'm going to see if I can twitch it across his face. So I've been feeding maggots here all the time so Hardly surprising that there's a, a pike here. He might take, he might not. Oh, it's close to him. He's looking, he's looking, he's looking. He's probably as twitchy, well he's obviously not on the feed because he would have nailed that straight away. I would have thought. Oh, that does surprise me. Let's just try them again. See the grayling is still there. Yeah, Mr. Pike don't want to feed either. There is one at least two pound plus grayling that's shooting around down there. And the pike don't want to know, I'm going to try over there. And of course with minnows like this just twitching it every chance you could get a big brown trout grabbing that as it twitches its way along. Grayling? I would think not. Big brown trout. Oh, someone's got him. Someone's got him. Someone saw the flash. Saw the flash. There's another pike. There's another pike, guys. Another pike. He's got it. Here we go. Fish on. Another pike. Smaller than the one I thought. <laughs> I did think up there in the slack that there'd be a chance of a bit of action. Woo, mamma mia! Not a big fish, not a big fish, but a bit of fun. And on a single hook, and I'm on a wire trace. And I'd like to get that minnow back because that other one might might just take as well. Oh, he's stripping me out. Oh dear. So on the other side, look where the minnow's gone up the line. Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. I'm going to take this first time, guys. He's in, he's out. Here come the pike patrol. Well, well, well. He's a scrapper, isn't he, this one? He's a scrapper, and he is in, yes. Well, well, well. That's not the one I was after. The one I was after is way bigger than that. He's a frisky little chap. Where's that hook? He's certainly eating it. Look, not a big fish. A pike is a pike. 
I spotted one about six or seven and cast upstream. Big one wasn't taken, this guy was, he's hungry. Let's get him back. Well, as a result. Now, yeah. dogs not in the swim, please. All that remains is to re-tackle and try and catch another minnow. Guys, I think I've got one of the big ones. Absolutely got one of the big ones. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go on back one. It's good fish, really good fish. It's been taking two hours to hook this one. He's coming straight in the net. If I can get him, he's coming straight in the net. I'm not going to mess around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, people. Good God, the hook's fallen out, I think. The hook has fallen out. Oh, hold still, buddy. So strong. Look at the paddle on that one, guys. Can you see that? That fish can't be a million miles away from two pounds, I would say, that one. It's quite a nice fish. Got the big dorsal fin on the back there. He's getting close to the magic mark there. Let's get him back. Another fish on, boys. I'm amazed the pike hasn't had a go at this because the pike I saw was a good size one. And that way that's fighting and jumping. Wouldn't surprise me if there's a pike underneath that, that grayling. Oh, he's tangled in the line. Pretty convenient. I can get him in, hopefully, without any ado. And he's in. So, session's finished. And they're all not, look, they're not, they're not um, small grayling, are they? They're nice big grayling. Good size ones. Please that last one. I can't catch a minnow to save my life now. Oh, hook's falling out. I cannot save, uh, catch a minnow to save my life, but there you are. Urban, very urban. There's the estate. I've moved swims, come back down to where I first started, and I've got something different. Twisting and thrashing, I don't think this one's a grayling. So you can see him down there. It's a wild brown trout. Third species, pike, grayling. And maybe if I get this guy out, whew, he's gonna jump in the net virtually. That is a jumping wild trout, and that's a tree, Graham. Here we go. You're bound to be lip hooked like all trout are, not. Get him unhooked. Get yourself a discord, you guys. Oh no, he's just hooked in the corner there. Oh, come back here. Pretty little brown trout. They say some really big ones in there. Let's get him back. Well, there is actually a nice pool below a bridge here. You can see I've already had a look in there. I've thrown some bread in, and with my glasses, I can see. Over there, there's some uh, nice grayling, and I think there's one or two nice trout laying there. There's the bridge, and there's a sort of sandy pool with a load of junk in the bottom, bits of metal. Can't actually see any shopping trolleys, but I'll tell you what I can see, and that's fish. Let's give it a go. Hey guys, I've gone back to the Avon float. I've thrown some maggots in. The way they're zooming around, it looks like the suicide squad out there. I think a handful of maggots. There's one nice fish down there. I don't think it's a grainy. I think it's actually a trout. Here we go. Loose feeds in. They are going nuts for it. I feel, I feel a hookup coming and I feel a trout. Going through, going through, going through. Oh man, I might have popped him off. I might have popped him off. No, still got the hook, that was lucky. I'm on the 16 now to three pounds. I've got to be a little bit careful. Three or four maggots. There's a nice fish over the back there, but what is it? Straight past him. Got to watch the float, got to watch the float. Not too violent on the strike. And it's gone all the way through. 
Oh dear. Perhaps they are not. It's stupid. I'm going to shallow this up. But don't get anything on the maggots. I heaved a load of bread in. They went absolutely bazonkers for it. Let me just see if we can uh, wiggle one out. No is the answer to that. Fish on guys. Big, big gravy. Oh. Never organised. Nice gravy. Man, it's about 12 now. It's about 12. Got him. There we go. He's off the hook. See how the mouth extends over here and it's very, very bony around it. So that's why you bump a lot of fish off with striking on the float. Gone. So I've got one slice of bread there. Just got it wet once. And I can squish it up in my hand. Break bits off. I'll just do it down here actually. Might want another dip. That's it. Just like this, squish it and break it all up. And if you watch, down there, if I keep my head dead still, you can see it breaks up beautifully, sinks down. And that's what I'm going to try and get those fish feeding out in the middle of it. They're just on the back edge of the pool here. They've even been coming up taking bits of bread. Wait for this off the surface. Good cheap ground bait, supermarket sliced bread, does the trick. Are the fish bothered? No. Now follow up quickly with a couple of maggots. Got brown trout on guys, good brown trout. I've put the head cam on. Took a bit of a gamble, taking the camera off. There we go, right on the surface, this is a nice fish. This is, other than the pike, probably fish of the day. Especially if the battery holds out on the camera, but I've got this small, small hook on there. OMG. Is he going to ping off? He's not done yet for sure. He's going to take him. Oh, I could throw that at any time. Here he comes. 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 Oh, I like the trees. Get around the tree. And we're in. Oh. Oh, look at this one, boys. Beautiful, beautiful trout. Let's get him unhooked. There we go, peep. Look at that one. That is, I get the light on it. Really class brown trout. Wild. Look at the tail. I say he's a wild one. Almost a kipe on it, that one. Anyway, just slide him back. That's English. This is a Spitfire. Not a bad old session actually. Pike, brown trout, grayling. Point blank guys, point blank down there. Grayling. Let's chuck a few mags, you might see them come up, I don't know. Throw them in the, in the dark side over there. Oh, nice one at the back. A trout, brown trout on the back there. A few weed worth. A few more maggots. Just down there. Actually, that's a rainbow. He's scoffing those maggots, man. Absolutely scoffing them. Holy smoly. Get a hook out there. A little bit more feed going in there. Might pull him up. Oh well. It looks like it's a grayling to be. Here we go. They might not like the float. Ooh. This one. They don't like the float, guys. 
a tad deeper. Do not like the float. Because it's fish hard. Fish on guys. Grayling. Big one. Get the it right out the net there. I've got to extend it. Where is he? Gee, I've got a feeling the rainbow's gone down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a look at another swim down below. That's a big grayling. You see how they got that sail that dorsal up in the current digging there. Ease this one in because I've got a small hook. Ease it. <laughs> what a day's grading fishing, honestly. There's the Avon float. That is possibly the best behaved grading I've ever had. Superb. Only a small river, right? Pretty well in the centre of an urbanised area, on the edge of a main road. And do you know what? They really are some cracking fish in here. Well, I've reached the end of the fishery. Not so much going on down the bottom end. Those other grayling I've had. 15 odd grayling, big ones, nice big grayling. And one pike, I can't catch a minnow, otherwise I'm pretty sure I'd have another pike. It's a nice brown trout as well. That's not bad, three o'clock in the afternoon. I think it's time to head home. It's Busy, it's a Saturday. I wasn't I normally don't fish weekends, especially on these type of urban areas, get a bit hectic. Been a load of guys out fishing by all accounts have not done too good. So I'm well pleased with taking the float off and free lining just a maggot and a single sort of six or eight shot on there. Watch them visually take it. It's old school method, don't often see it used nowadays. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to watch the totally awesome outdoors show, or as Mike now calls it, TA Outdoors, and subscribe to Obviously our show, of course, I've got a long walk back to the car. Chances are I'm going to have a little dabble at that top end before I finally put the rods away. Good session then. Well, I got back near the car, guys. I managed to catch one minnow, which I've got on my little Xander single hook barbless rig. I'm just going to have a few throws for what I think is the potential of a pike. You never know. That other one I saw, I have seen over the back of there, I've seen some really big roach here too. Hmm, twitch, 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 nothing. Pound and a half roach at least. Maybe I take one of those shot off. I've, got, I've actually got two shot. There's my wire trace. I've got two shot there. I'll take one off. Let's try over the back of that wee bed. I can feed in these roach and I can't catch them. The pike has got his head right up in the weed. Whether he's going to come out, there remains to be seen. Well, I think I've got grading of the day on, guys. Just watch it pick a couple of maggots and a shot off the uh, off the gravel bed. See if I can get it for you. Right, right in there. There we go, people. I think that's a kitty I've been after. Look at that fin on that one. That is most definitely, if not the biggest one in the swim one of the biggest that's what you call a last cast fish and a half <laughs>